Hello! Welcome to Stephanie Uncensored! And we have Forged in Ash, a Red Hot Seals novel number two! And this is the second book in the series! And I listened to this book. This narrator was so much better than the first book's narrator. I don't know if it's the same person or if it's a different one, but oh my goodness, this guy in this for this book had me laughing and you know excited when the other when the other seals were talking and his voices changed and it was great i loved it loved his re loved loved his reading of this book it's military it's romance it's alpha male it's paranormal it's a mystery it's a second part to the first one so if you haven't read the first book you're not going to know what's going on um in this book we have lieutenant marcus Sikowski, Simkowski, wow, Koski, Koski, Simkowski, yeah, strange nickname for him, um, but anyways, he got hit in the last book, so spoiler alert, if you haven't read the other book, that's sort of where we pick up, is him doing recovery from the mission from the last book, where it got all kinds of crazy, um, yeah, so in this book, he's recovering, and he's not recovering as fast as he wants to recover. So another team member, Aiden, from SEAL Team 7, also had a career-endangering um, injury a while ago. And his sister ended up healing him because she's an Arapaho Indian and she has the gift of healing. So Aiden suggests that Koski gets help from his sister. Well, while Aiden was in the hospital a while ago, um, during his injury, Koski and Kate, Aiden's sister, sort of ran into each other, didn't really talk, but just had a passing. And from then on, both of them dreamed about each other in depth dreaming about each other of a sexual nature and had a serious attraction so it's been like five years since Aiden got hurt and got recovered and the two of them haven't really had any interaction so Koski has to deal with asking Kate for help Kate has to deal with her attraction to him and the fact that she's a healer which means she has to have skin to skin contact with him so yeah you deal with we're dealing with that with their romance which was lovely 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 because their heat just kind of rips off the page especially with this narrator it was amazing and it's the second part of the book so we're still trying to figure out the conspiracy from the first book and the mystery and how that all rolls together then you have Jillian who is the sister of one of the bad guys from the first book that's in this book that's stalking Koski and then ends up getting Kate involved and all of SEAL Team 7 is involved because they're back down in California now instead of in Seattle where they were the last book and leaves on another cliffhanger. I wanted to pull my hair out. Have not figured out what this conspiracy really means or who's really in charge of it. And we just have an introduction of all these different characters that I just want to know about and need to know about. But of course, the series isn't complete. And the author has not put up when she'll be completing the series. So, oh, I think I might have missed that in the beginning. It's Trish McCullough. Yes, I'll link her stuff below. But, so that makes me have a sad face. Mm, sad, sad face. Because the series has so much potential! I kind of want it! kind of need it! Need it! Need it! Okay, so, there's my feelings on that one. Once again, that's Forged in Ash. Mark Simkowski's book with Kate. Smoking hot. Off the charts enjoyed it four stars need the rest of the books other than that see you guys later see you soon bye